Hey guys, Doug here, Trigger King, here with uh, Brandon Scott, one of our drivers here. And uh, we're going to be doing some in-depth videos showcasing what the trucks are. Um, I know we've done kind of high-level videos before where we just talk about the generalities of the different vehicles. But we figure now we'll do some of the individual ones because some of these trucks are using completely different things. From other ones, even if they're the same chassis, same make, each one of these is pretty individual. So we're going to start here. This is Brandon. He races a bunch of trucks with us here. Brandon. Hello, uh, this is my Max D truck. Uh, chassis is based off of SMT10. The uh, axles are freestyle RC axles. A bunch of people ask about them. They're uh, pretty beefy, but they can be hard on four links and etc. Machined out of aluminum, right? Yes. They're all aluminum. Yep. Yeah, they're uh, built mm -hmm. aluminum. Then uh, the four links, Crawford Performance. The electronics in it are a Grotner. It's a six and a half turn motor. Sens censored, right? Yes, censored. Yep. 120 uh, amp speed controller. Two uh, S Gen Z uh, 100 C battery. Then it's got a MIP drive shafts. Yeah, most of us most of us are using MIP drive shafts. Pretty much any trucks that we're using, just for the Pro Mod trucks at least, you have to have steel shafts. Then it has a hot racing all aluminum tranny in it. Pro line uh, power stroke five inch shocks. And we're using uh, it looks like the J Concepts Renegade tires and the tribute wheels. Yes, um, the gold compounds. Yep. This truck has been uh, abused pretty hard. I know last summer, <laughs> as you were trying to um, you know get all the kinks worked out, a lot of drive shafts, other things ripping out of it. Just it's. The Pro Mod trucks are tough anyways. It's just tough on parts, it's just what it is. Yes, that um, is for sure. And so this is the Max D, now this is an SMT-10. Now Brandon's got another truck here that we'll show you. This is his son of a digger. It's a, this is a Warpath, right? Yes, correct. It's a JZI Warpath uh, made by SoCal Monster Trucks. They're based out of California. Around uh, Anaheim, LA, I think. Trevor, don't get angry for missing uh, missing the town. I know he's. He, I, think, I believe it's around Anaheim, though. Uh, Huntington Beach, from. I think. Sorry. Okay. Bro. Okay. The yeah. <clears throat> body. I know. I get a bunch of questions on. It's uh, made by Drive RC. Uh, I'm also running a Grapner setup, except this one is a five and a half turn with a 180 amp speed controller. The headers are 3D printed by SoCal Monster Trucks, also. Uh, TLR shocks, uh, Vanquish AR60 complete aluminum, the four links uh, all done by SoCal Monster Trucks also. That's part of the kit, right? They uh, they sell the Warpath kit with the machine links, correct? Cor correct. Okay. Um, it's a hot racing tranny in this one also. MIP drive shafts, uh, Savox servo. But it's basically all same, minus it's a little nicer chassis, carbon fiber. And these are Devastators you're using, right? Yes. These are the uh, Proline Devastator tires. Correct. With uh, the roller wheels? Yes. That one. Okay. Then uh, running a 100C battery in this as well. A shorty pack, looks like, yes. in this truck. Shorty pack, there's not much room for anything else in there. There's nothing that's really a factory part at all on this truck. It's Everything. Pretty much all aftermarket. Yeah, that's about all it is. Is complete aftermarket, hot race and servo saver. You were really last year when we were running this, getting the bugs worked out. Pretty yeah. much still. So this next summer season will be uh, kind of the big uh, debut of this. And this is the first Warpath chassis in our club, I believe. Um, I know Trevor and them out there in California. They do really good work. Um, the Warpaths. Can you get them in different machining? Like I know this is carbon fiber. I know the majority of them are carbon, right? Yes, all of them uh, are carbon. You know, I mean, I know from seeing well from your truck, and I know I've seen others. Um, they raced us with open house. They do, you know, really nice work. They're uh, really nice machining, and they're, they're nice pieces of equipment. It's going to be terrible to uh, tear this thing <laughs> into the <laughs> ground over the summer, but uh, hope you make parts for them still, Trevor. <laughs> you will test that. Yeah, he sent me a couple extra wheelie bars in case I break one. Yeah, I'm going to say freestyle. It's Because uh, he knows I can be hard on stuff. Yeah. As you've seen with the Max D truck. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, 
Thank you. Thank uh, you. Again, Brandon's got a bunch of trucks. We're going to go over them over the summer. He's also got a really cool mega truck he's working on for when we, we uh, debut our mega truck racing this summer. Um, we'll talk to him again then. So thanks for uh, saying hi to everybody and showing what you're running. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah.